One final item I wanted to highlight uh, with the sensation here is to do with its screen, which HD lists as a Super OCD, exactly the same as with the Incredible S. However, it is notable that although the screens are pretty much identical when, when put side by side and face directly, um, the Incredible S has much better viewing angles and actually is a little bit brighter and better saturated than the sensation. So we'll just try and show that here now. As you can see, the sensation pretty quickly starts to wash out, whereas the Incredible S tends to keep its uh, color fidelity all the way up until very oblique, very odd angles. So these aren't really things that should bother you on a daily basis. Most of the time, most people face this smartphone straight up. However, it's um, just notable that although they're branded the same way, the actual technology and the actual screens that HTC gives us are not of equivalent uh, quality. So the sensation, it still has a very good LCD. It's just not on the same level as the Incredible S. Just hold them to the side so you're not under the impression that uh, we're dealing with the effects of sunlight or anything like that. It really is only about viewing angles. In terms of regular use, um, sensation tends to give you pretty good color accuracy and, sa and saturation. So you're not really going to notice that it's not quite as good as the Incredible West, but when you actually have them side by side, it tends to become uh, apparent pretty quickly.